Hey everybody, it's KS Poppy here with my Papa's Cupcakeeria holiday series. We're going to be talking about the 12 holidays in Papa's Cupcakeeria. And the first this holiday that we're talking about is Easter. Easter is the third holiday. It falls during the month of April and it follows St. Patty's Day. Now there are several specific holiday toppings that we're going to see this season. Those are the A, B, C, and D cupcake liners, cotton candy drizzle, a can an Easter egg cookie, a rabbit ear cookie, a tulip cookie, and jelly bean sprinkles. Now the customers who will order these ingredients are of course your seven closers, Trishna, Radlin, Zolo, Mayor Mallow, Quinn, Kinji, and Jojo the Critic. They'll always order the holiday ingredients, so you'll see new orders from them this month. And the regular customers who like Easter are Cletus, Kingsley, Mandy, Mindy, Vicky, and Zandra. And Zandra likes to wear her little Easter bunny ears in with a tutu, which is very similar to her New Year's outfit in Donutteria. So let's go ahead and get started. And we're just going to do a run through of a typical Easter day. Go ahead and load this up. As you can see, we're now celebrating Easter. And here comes Zandra. We'll take her order. We'll put her batter into the oven. We're going to boost this until our next customer comes in. Okay, here's our next customer. It looks like it's going to be Tony. If you notice, not all of my customers have gold medals, and there's a reason for this. I was delaying getting the Go for the Gold badge by purposely messing up orders once they got to three or four stars so that they all ordered at different paces. But during the course of this, I'm just going to let it play out. I'm going to try to get my Go for the Gold by the end of this holiday series. And because I didn't record these um, in order, I started with Pirate Bash. That means baseball season will be my last season. So if you watch the baseball season video, then hopefully we'll get to see the Go for the Gold achievement. Okay, we'll put some rock candy on there and some ears. Try to put those at 45 degree angles. And again with the 45 degree angles. Okay, let's take these out of the oven and then we'll go ahead and we'll serve Sandra her order. And then I always like to put the icing on before I start the next order. That way everything's ready to just go ahead and decorate and I can just jump right in. So we'll get this into the oven. And then we'll go back to decorate this. And some vanilla drizzle some cloud berries. Alright, that one's done. We'll go ahead and work on the other one. Alright, we'll go ahead and ice this. Violet on both of them. Alright, that's all I'm going to do for the moment. We're going to go ahead and finish this up. 
See if you got an extra second or two, you can get one step closer to being done. All right. We will come over here and put some red velvet batter into the liner. And get that into the oven. And then we'll go ahead and decorate this. We've already got the drizzle on, so we'll just start at the next ingredient. There are several ways to decorate these. You can go one cupcake at a time, or you can go back and forth between the two cupcakes, but it's really important to keep the ingredients in order. So if it says drizzle coconut bunny ears, then don't put coconut drizzle because it'll count down on your, on your score. All right, sun glow. And I would recommend getting the copy button as soon as you can. That's very, very important, even more so than the batter guide. The two things that I can't live without in this game are the doing the two batters at once and the copy button for my frosting. If I had to choose only two upgrades, those would be the two. Get this second order. Want some rock candy? All right. And we'll go ahead and put the frosting on. We'll check the oven. It looks like it'll be okay till after I take Trishna's order. Okay, let's go ahead and decorate Santa's order with the vanilla drizzle. Once that on both cupcakes. Coconut and a cherry. And some more coconut and another cherry. We'll go ahead and ice this, and we can see how much of this we can get done before that seventh order comes out of the oven. We don't have to worry about anybody else coming in for the day, so we can just worry about the topping station and the bake station. That looks like we got one cupcake finished, and we'll take those out and finish up the other one. When I do the icing, I always try to go around in three circles. Okay, and put the toppings at 45 degree angles. Make sure you cover as much of the frosting with the toppings as you can without going over the edge. All right, and there we go. I didn't quite get a perfect day, but 99% is still good. And it looks like I have a few more points until the next level. Hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share with your friends. Don't forget to leave a comment if you have a suggestion or an idea for another video. And I will be sure to respond. So thanks for watching, guys.